everyone. Welcome back to Mixed Media Art Therapy. So it's going through my journal. Remember, I'm losing my tea. I got tea in here. Remember our journal we made on our first class or our first session, I guess. Um, I'm just going to my journal because I write ideas, see all the different things I want to do in this series. So um, this one I missed making hop sachets down here but um my hops were perfect and then i didn't pick them so oh well we'll do it another time but today i want to do this one affirmation cards i love this journal because i can just write all messy scribbly whatever i want i've been using mine hope you guys are using yours i think they're fantastic i like how i feel about all the different videos I've done. These are all the projects. I really love it. So anyway, today I want to do affirmation cards. You've seen them. You can buy them. They're very expensive sometimes. Well, I guess not for what they are, but it would be nice to make your own. So I did a lot of pre-work before I started this video. I, my series of affirmation cards, I wanted them to all start with I am. I got the idea from this Somerset Life magazine, and when I find an idea, I write it on the front of it, so I can easily find the one that had the idea in it. So if anybody has this one, it is July, August, September 2017. They don't make these anymore which is a shame because they have the best ideas for mixed media, art, art journal, everything. I love them. They are my Bibles. I have a stack of them everywhere. So I dog ear them if I find something that I really like, as you can see. <laughs> so here is where I got the idea. So it is not my complete idea. Although affirmation cards have been around for years and years and years. This is by Nicole Ray. So what you can see, she started I am, which is what I want on mine. And one thing I noticed about hers, all the fonts were different on her I am's. So I went to my computer and I printed up I am, I am, I am. This is 30 point, or 30, is that what it is? Yeah, 30 point. And uh, all in different fonts. And then I think I made about 30, 35. She used index cards for hers. And I'm going to use playing cards because I think it's nice to be able to have a place to put them when you're done with them. And then you can take them out as you do with affirmation cards and you shuffle them and you pull one or lay them down and pull one. And usually the one you pull is the one you needed to hear on that particular day. So then I thought of a few, I am strong, I am healthy, I am joyful, all those things. But then I thought, why don't I go online again and look for I am affirmations. And so I bookmarked the link and I'll put the link in the description box. It'll say I am affirmations and you can go there. And then they also had within that link, let me see if I can just find you, find it. Within that link, they had a whole bunch of words that you could create your own I am. I just thought it was amazing. I think I have it right here. They gave a link where you could go and find your own words and create your own. And that's coming up right here. And it says, I am affirmations, a list of I am words. And look at them. So you can go through them and whatever speaks to you specifically, you can, you look how many, there's so many. And you know, it's funny, as I was writing the ones that were speaking to me in the moment, I was getting um, really, really emotional. 
So it's kind of funny how it works. And then it says, inspire yourself from the list of positive words right here. Here's the positive words. And there's 1,400. Look at them all. Positive words. So I will put both of these links in the description below for you. Okay? So... Once you've got these, we'll just put these aside and put them in on the back of your, your journal, whatever. So you can see what she did. Just pretty much mixed media. Fun, fun, fun. Now I see the option of using index cards versus using deck of cards is you don't have to gesso them. So I'm kind of now torn between... Do I want to just use these and then I could just tie them up or make my own envelope? You know what? No, I'm not going to go with the deck of cards. I'm going to go with index cards like she did. And I'm going to decorate uh, the side that is blank. And then on the back, you can write, like say you say, I am going for write things like I will go forth with confidence, I will not be afraid, I will have courage, things that will remind you what going forth means to you, okay? So I'm going to do 30 of them, and I'm going to start with just three at a time, okay? So let's get started. Let's make some I am affirmation cards gathered some washi tape from my washi tape box. So I have a washi tape box that says washi on the end here. And then if I need more or want to change that, I will, because I'm doing 30, I will go back up and grab, well, grab some different ones. So I got that. And then another thing I did ahead of time I pulled together all of my scraps, the inks and paints I wanted to use. And of course that is subject to change because you're not really sure what you're doing. So this is a whole bunch of scraps, papers and ephemera and stuff. And all in here. And then I've got, I want to use some distress inks just because this one is uh, black soot and I want it to have maybe dribbles on it so I've got that I've got sprays in my right here you guys can't see but they're right here off um, camera here and so I can spritz on them if I want so I've just got all kinds of stuff to play and I do not think this is going to be a one session job. The video will be for you, but for me, it's going to take more than one day to make 30 cards. So, let me get started. So, my plan is to do three, maybe four at a time. And then you can keep them all in the same, you know, category. Well, maybe three so you can see in the camera. Because you can't really see four. <laughs> yeah, we'll do three at a time. I know you can't really see these, but you will. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work on them. And if I find a moment that I'm going to speak, I will come back on camera, but I will have it going, um, you know, high speed so you can watch what I'm doing. So let's have fun making some cards.
done three, and I quickly, because I was already in the messy Mookie part, I flipped them over, because you saw the paint seeping through, and just out the back. In the event that I want to write on the back of these, and it gave them a little bit more stability. So, let me get started with some more. created a total glorious mess in my craft room and I love every bit of it. I love how these first four turned out. So usually when I'm doing something like this, I try and do it in num um, like in numeric groups, three, four, five at a time, whatever I choose. And then when I'm doing it, I make sure, I don't know, this might help you guys out because you think, how do people get themselves organized with this kind of stuff. So what I will do, I will take two types of text, one picture and one words, musical notes, something like that. So you see there's words and a picture and there's a picture and the ducks because they're kind of linear like words. There's a picture here and the music notes and then here there's a picture of the tree and then there's um, plain graph paper, which at the end I stuck a little uh, sticker that says me on it. So we started with the paint, so you saw me do that, kept the colors all uniform for these four, the next four will be completely different. And then I, um, next thing I had is some washi tape. So I thought, okay, am I going to use black and white washi tape? I think so. So on this one I use black and white polka dot, this one I use Hans too. Jacquard, and this one I totally had forgotten what I used. It was this print here, printed washi tape. Then I think I added some um, black ink drops, which was the uh, delusions, or no, sorry, it was distress ink refill. I put it in a bowl and then a brush and splattered. And then I decided, no, I want one more thing, so I put a stamp. Same stamp on all four, just moved the stamp in different ways so it looks a little bit different. And then I put my I am, where I'm so glad I had different uh, fonts for the I am's 
it looks so cool and this is totally worth doing on the computer i could have done it with uh stamp sets with um alphabetic stamp sets but i just didn't want to i knew it would be too much work especially writing out all these so this was in um american typewriter the uh, the the like the honest and true the iams were all different but the statements were all in american typewriter so it looks like you typed it so yeah that's what i did i showed you at the end that i i outlined the words with um a permanent sharpie ultra fine sharpie permanent very important and i didn't care if the lines were kind of crooked they're more whimsical that way and the last thing i'm going to do is go over them all with some mod podge and that is going to be my formula for how i'm doing my cards so i'll be back when i've done many many more but i wanted to give you guys an idea how to do these affirmation cards and i hope you give them a really good try because they're so cool they really 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 are so I'm just going to paint over all these with the Mod Podge. So I got these four completely done. And it says I'm so magical. And as I'm doing them, I'm going to write immediately on the back. So it says I'm magical. Ask for what you want, put out into the universe. Put it out into the universe. Ask your ancestors, manifest. Create your magic. I am strength. I know I'm strong enough to know that you cannot push anyone or any situation too hard or it will break. I'm calm and centered. Through meditation, know that no matter where you are, the calm can always be found within. I am honest and true. Do not be too afraid to ask for what you truly want and need. And then I put those little squigglies there and my name and the year that I did them. So I can't wait to get a whole set. And then every day, you just kind of shuffle them and pull one out. And if it speaks to you that day, that's what you needed to hear on that day. It's just funny how that works. I know I made a little mistake here. Enough to know. got eight cards done already so you guys saw these ones and then the next four are in these tones so bright and pretty i am an open soul be open to everything the universe has to offer i am in harmony with nature Surround yourself with nature, fresh air, trees, sun, wind, and snow. 
I am healthy and well. Prescribe to whatever you need to keep yourself healthy and well. And I am sunshine and moon. Choose to surround yourself with people who both remind you of sunlight and love to dance in the moonlight. Aren't these coming along gorgeously? So eventually I will have 30 something. If I'm going by fours, I'll probably have 32. And it'll be a nice deck and see how the colors are all gonna be all intermingled into each other. So I'm just going to keep working on my affirmation cards and I hope you guys are working on yours too. And oh, I don't know if you guys know what these were. They're gouache and they are uh, really solid watercolors. They're not acrylic. Although they look like acrylics. You see how thick they are? And they come like this and they look like jello. And there's all these different colors under here I haven't used yet. But um, they're like a gel and they are actual watercolors. Isn't that cool? So they're called gouache. I got mine on Amazon and I got Richard a pair of set and his box is blue and mine's pink. Aren't they the coolest? I love them because look at the vibrancy from those and that's a watercolor paint so yeah I'm kind of crazy with these ones but that's okay that's fun because they're just supposed to be collage all over the place that's a rooster they're just so much fun so much So I think you guys get the idea of the process of how I'm making these affirmation cards. So they start off in this format, where you start just collaging and playing around, which I did on these. And then on the backs, I just sew them. Whoopsie. And then I get it to the stage where these are in, where I add my I am and go around with the pen and then I put uh, more punch on top and so then once I get a deck of right now I've got a deck of 16 I believe so once I get a deck let's see how many are in here four four yeah 16 so far so I'm gonna, this is gonna be a work in progress, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how to make your own affirmation cards. And when you're done, you can just choose one. I'll just choose one. Excuse my dog. My eyes are closed. I'm gonna pick this one. I picked I am calm and centered, which is absolutely perfect for me because we're flying 
away tomorrow and I always get a little anxious the day before I fly through meditation know that no matter where you are the calm can always be found within and I always find that the one you need the most always pops up so make yourself some of these affirmation cards guys this one is just a bunch of ink blots you saw me draw this one, just random sketching and collaging and stamping. Randomness of art play. And you can have these to use forevermore. So I hope you give these a try. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. You don't have to be in a good place or healed to make or share your art. That is the beauty of art journaling and mixed media art therapy. By simply creating these affirmation cards, it gives you the opportunity to Shut down your mind and let yourself hear your soul healing your body by saying, I am strong, I am resilient, I am beautiful, I am sunlight. You will soon trust to believe in those things about yourself. Things that we all already know. Affirmation cards are another tool for self-guided meditation. You simply choose a card, focus on the I am, and reflect on that for a few minutes and you've done a beautiful meditation. Just take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And simply say, I am creative. I am wonderful and I am grateful.